should to be gentlemen, to to you to never use force unless absolutely necessary. Men should have to mature over a long period of time. Today we're going to be reacting to Charles Kirk Trigger's work for trans activists. Guys, if you're new here, just to like, share, start my channel. Guys, without further ado, let's get straight into this. So there should be two genders. Correct. Let me ask you a question. Do you think that a do you think a child when they're born should be raised in a certain mold or do you think that child should be able to determine what gender it is as it grows up? I think that child should be allowed to determine what gender that they define by. So if a child is born with an XY chromosome as a male, you shouldn't raise that as a son. You should allow that child to discover whatever it is. Yes. Okay, that that's you and they I should be allowed to define themselves and define who they want to be seen as. Do, okay, so do you think there's differences between men and women? Yes, there are biological differences between men and women. But you, so then what would you, you would say to a child that's born, you, you're not going to raise it as a son or as a daughter, you allow it to discover itself. So sons should be allowed to have dolls and, you know, whatever, and whatever happens, happens. Yes. I, are you saying that men should not be allowed to have Barbie dolls? I did not say that whatsoever, but I'm you saying there's certain character attributes and traits of how young men should be raised and how young ladies should be raised. Defining, you are defining that women should be raised in one way and men should be raised in another. Without a shadow of a doubt, yes. yes. Men should have to restrain themselves from a physical prevalcuity. Men should, to be gentlemen, to, to, you, to never use force unless absolutely necessary. Men should have to mature over a long period of time to not indulge in their Darwinian proclivity to hurt, to harm, to hunt. And women who are more biologically likely to be nurturers and caretakers should be taught to be ladies in young age. There's no, they're, that's biologically consistent. No, if, if women want to do something different, that's fine. However, the data shows when men and women are presented with equitable choices, women are much more likely to... Oh, you should send that to Venezuela. I don't have that there. Um, um, when, when men and women around ages 6 to 18 are given the option of what kind of majors they want to study, women tend to go towards early childhood education, nursing, so on and so forth, and men tend to go towards business and finance. Finance. Men and women have biological differences. Because and of the way that they were raised. No. No, that's that you and I completely no, no, no. disagree. It's because of the it's because of the DNA chromosomal structure that is inherent to who they are. Yeah, why would you have to mold it? Sorry, girl. Wait, I'm sorry. What is the toilet paper? Where's the toilet paper? If that's natural, you're just going to have a question. Can I actually have the toilet paper? They have a predisposition. They have a predisposition towards a certain behavioral pattern. But goodness must be taught. Goodness must be taught. Goodness is good. Well, no, I mean. People are broken by nature. You must teach a child to stop crying, or to stop lying, or to stop manipulating. People are broken by nature? Yes. So yes. Of original, original sin? Yes, because data supports it. And, I mean, child so sacrifice. Is this a so, no, I am an evangelical Christian if you want to ask me, but that's it's, it's a purely secular argument. Okay, but by stating, by stating the argument that people are born in the sin, it's not even a religious argument, and that it's outside of politics, and politics and okay. religious uh, okay. religion should so, be separate. Uh, again, so you asked, is it an original sin argument? Yes. People are predisposed towards doing bad by their nature. If, 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 why do we have to teach kids to stop crying? What science backs that up? Child psychology. Jordan Peterson. You laugh? Yeah, yeah one of the most noted <laughs> republics. Yeah, he taught at Harvard, he taught at some of the top schools across the world, and now he's being now he's being ostracized because he talks that men and women are different, which is now a radical notion in our university system. Men are better at some things than women, and women are better at some things than men. What things are men better at? Lifting heavy objects. Women are better caretakers and nurturers. Women are more organized. Women mature earlier. Yeah, I'm a way better nurturer than my sister. I work with kids. There are always exceptions to the rule, oh, but the, the rule exists for a reason. No 
So the top. There cannot be exceptions to a rule because the rule doesn't exist. No, that that's not the case. You have the rule, which is a generally generally true on the aggregate, but you always have things that are outliers to the data to the data trend. Always. So when you say that men are typically better physically positioned than you know physically um, gifted than women, that's true. I mean, if you look around. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Say that again? That men are usually stronger physically than women? That is true. The data supports that. Are there women that are stronger than men? Of course. That's an exception to a rule. That's called an outlier to data. How is that a naturally better I'm not saying better. I'm not saying one one sex okay. or gender is better okay. than the other. They're different. I can, see, I can see your point. I can see that men do have more testosterone. Oh, okay. They that, are that, that's stronger. what I'm saying. So there's differences. Yes, but... Therefore, men are better at certain things than women, and women are better at certain things than men. Well, I really don't know why she didn't want to accept, but like she was, she's looking like someone that understands where Charlie's Cake is coming from, and the guy just want to vomit trash. But for me, I honestly believe that men and women are different, and men have some abilities, gifted abilities that women don't, because like let's say when I was. 12, 13, yes, my sister can try fight with me, but now, like, if I do, like, sh she's out of there, like, sh she knows that, oh, this guy is way, way stronger, and it's something that she won't just try, because I, I really don't see why, a reason why a woman would want to fight a man, like, she want to contend with the man, because you know that men are stronger. I, we all know that women that are, there are exceptional women that that have this kind of giving strength for like men are stronger. But what do you think about the statement where Charlie Kirk said we are all born sinners? Or let's say we are born with the mindset to do bad or yeah, I actually think that is right because check out animals like or let's check out let's go back in the days. Like, I feel if history was not there, there are a lot of things we would repeat. Like having slaves, like conquering people, like killing people for no reason just to get what they have and stuff like that. I feel history and the fact that history is being taught. Because a lot of people feel like history is just when you study history. But like history is integrated in almost everything because there are people who did the research and now they're teaching you. So I feel that's also history. So history has taught us that there's some certain things we shouldn't do. And you learning from an early stage, you learning the way the rest of the society is living around you actually helps you, like, with the idea of, no, I can't do this. No, this is not acceptable. This is acceptable. And that actually makes sense, even if there are exceptions to that, because that's why people will still go and shoot other people in school. I know there are exceptions to that, but, like, we all know the norm is you living a good life. You not wanting to kill people without anything. Like, if I see a thief in my house trying to steal something and have a gun, I'll shoot you. But, like, this is, I will not just go outside and shoot someone who didn't do anything to me. You get. But, guys, so if you think about this, then you like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.